Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Um, before we get started today, I want to thank all of you so much for your uh, wonderful um, thoughts and condolences. Um, I've passed those on, and, and we really appreciate it so much. Um, you guys are just amazing. I've got such wonderful subscribers, and I want you guys to know it is very much appreciated. So today, what I've got to share with you is, um, this is Cheaply Chic's latest collection. This is, um, I just received this in the mail yesterday, so um, <clears throat> I'm a little bit late um, getting this out here, but as I said, it, it's only just arrived yesterday, so I haven't even had a chance to go through it. I opened it up quickly. Um, this collection is called Homegrown, and if you guys are not familiar with uh, Lynette, um, she's got a YouTube channel, which is called Cheaply Chic, and I will put the link to her um, channel and her shop in the description box below. And what she does is each month she has a um, like a subscription type box that you can order, and within it you get a TN that she's already put together. It's a um, basic journal, but aren't they beautiful? And then you also get um, a collection of book pages, all sorts of things. She's so generous with her kit. Um, so let's just get this out and look at it. Look at that. She's stamped on that. I love Lynette's style. She's got such a cute style. Um, and as I said, they're, they're basic journals, but... Um, it's great for somebody who's just starting out and maybe you just want to have a journal um, to play around with on your own and she's taken all of the work out of it because she's went out and um, collected all these things and they're, they're always full of vintage book pages and just a nice mix and this has all been, looks like tea dyed. Beautiful, it looks like old uh, wallpaper, but I don't think, I think it's, a, well it is a page, <coughs> but I love the look of that. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go through this, and then I'm going to stop the camera, and then come back and we'll do a process video. Um, <clears throat> so you get, this, she always makes a nice little dangle thing for you to add to the journal, so that's nice, because I'm not really good at... <laughs> charms as you guys know <laughs> and then she always includes a nice little fiber pack which is nice because it's um these are the sorts of things that I can't easily get my hand on you know every now and then I'll run across something but oh, careful I don't want to tear that glassine you know how valuable those glassine bags are to me oh I did Off that. Ah, there we go. So she's got some little paper clips and some little fibers there. Just try to make this a little bit quicker. Oh, I love that old card. Look at that. I'm sorry for the noise today, guys. It's, um, it's, as they would say here, rubbish collection. I love that. It sounds so much better than trash, doesn't it? Everything they say in, in England always just sounds nicer. Oh, collecting the rubbish. So look at all these little cutouts she's got. Oh, I love that little mason jar. That's precious. That's a sweet one, too. like that. Oh, and those little tags. Now, see, I don't have any of those. Those are cute. And then this looks like maybe for the chalk label. So this is what's great about it, because it would take ages to go out and source these things. And look at that. Now you can tell that's got to be probably 70s, 71. Blueberry coffee cake. That sounds really good right now. <laughs> it's a pity that it's not the, the coffee cake. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that's cool. 
old bingo card. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I look forward to getting old because then, then you can just go sit around and play bingo all day, and that would be fun. If you could, if you could get old without all the aches and pains. And just all the good bits. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Oh, that's cute. That's old, too. Potatoes, the way men love them. Look at that. Men's favorites. Oh, wow, you totally couldn't get away with that now. I love it. Love it, love it. This is why I like, I like the old stuff. <laughs> it's the way the world used to be. <laughs> And look, she's included this piece of um, wallpaper. That's really pretty. That's got to be, again, I think probably going back to 80s because remember I, I said the cranberry and the hunter green. That's what they used to call it. That was so in. Oh, I love that. That's nice. So bits of um, coordinating cardstock. And then she's got these. These are nice. And then, oh, she gets the most amazing envelopes. Oh, as if I don't have enough window ones already. But I don't have any of this, this shape. Oh, Lynette, I'm going to have to talk with you. Because last month uh, she sent the little one and it was adorable. I just hadn't had a chance to ask her because I might try to get some of those when I go back. Old uh, recipes. This is nice because with with farmhouse, this is exactly what you're thinking in terms of, you know, in the kitchen cooking and and as I said, she has a really nice collection of different um, old book pages, and then you get music sheet as well. So there is the kit, and like I said, I'll put the link below to her shop and to her. YouTube channel and you can see how she uses um, these kits because uh, Lynette does beautiful journaling beautiful journaling okay guys let me get cleared out and get something in my mind and I will be back to do a layout okay guys what I have done is I've taken that envelope um, and I've stitched it, but opened it on this side. And then what I thought it would be nice here is to adhere that <clears throat> to that page. And then I've, I've added the list sheet within the kit for this, the back of the uh, envelope. I think that's going to work nice. So I think what I will do is go ahead and get this glued down. Um, on that page and then we'll start just playing with it and seeing what we like because I don't have anything <laughs> planned out um, I just thought it'd be easiest just to go ahead and get on here and we would do it together And I've been thinking about these little journals because um, I really like these and, and because they're from Lynette, I wouldn't part with them for sentimental <laughs> reasons. Um, but as you guys know, I'm, I'm, I try to dabble in the journaling, but I find it uh, quite intimidating still. And so I'm still playing around with it, but I think these are going to be a good place for me to start because I don't feel so intimidated with a small one. Um, my large tomes, I think I'm going to keep those and um, just fill those full of ideas so I can, when I'm stuck, I can just flip through and, and come up with another element. But, oh, but these, what I've been thinking is I think I'm going to follow Yvonne's little tutorial on, um, some time back, you know, I did that, uh, she does kind of like the, the holder, I'm sorry, my brain is just, hello Gina, wake up, um, 
she did the holder for the TN. So my thinking is, um, with Lynette's, I'm going to have four of these. And I thought, well, I'll just expand that. I'll just show you. How about that? Geez, I'm doing such a terrible job explaining it. I don't know what's wrong with me today. And I've had coffee, so there's no excuse. Okay, back to the project at hand. So, this is now glued down. And that's the back there, you can see. We'll, we'll get to that in a bit. So, here, what I went ahead and did is I've backed... Sometimes if I have a misprint on my cardstock... I'll just shove it in a drawer, and this was a misprint on the back of this. So I've covered it with some coffee dyed paper and stitched that, and then I ran that through the embosser because this is where we're going to make us a, a journal card in here. So that's my thinking, but now let's do some stamping because I feel like stamping today. I, um, I don't know, I'm really, I wish, 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 I could just get some time to play with cards. I'm really, sorry about this guys, I, this is my dirty sheet. Um, I'm really missing card making and I just don't have time. It's I really get frustrated because I want to do so much more than what um, time allows. Um, so this is a good chance for me to at least get my stamps out. So, now I'm just going to show you guys the stamps I'm going to be using. And, you know, just because I know somebody's going to be wanting this. This is Paper Tray Ink. And I do not like to advertise for this company. I'm sorry, but they've their customer service is boo. Um... But, having said that, they do create some nice stamps. And I've got this stamp set and the little dies that come with it. And I've, I've kept these over the years because this is just totally me. I absolutely love this set. Um, as you've seen in the past, I got the little tiny tags from them. And I've hung on to those as well. But um, I've had a couple of stamps and uh, dies from them in the past. And... They just didn't work, and when I contacted them, that was absolutely horrendous. Um, they just didn't even want to swap them, which I think is unbelievable for a company this day and time. But anyways, I won't bash them any more than that. Um, but I know somebody's going to ask, so um, so that's it. This is a um, this is the stamp from uh, Hobby Lobby. And you, I'm sure they still probably have that. I got that when they had that 75% off. So let me just get this stamped here. And then I'll cut that out. And then we will get busy because this, this is going to be quite a little little spread I think by the time I get done doing what I want to do to it but it's actually nice I really find this enjoyable because um, you know when you're making the journals all the time it really is nice to to get to actually feel as though you're working within the journal turn that down a bit Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit more off of that. That's a bit too... But yeah, this time of year, I really do enjoy card making and all of that kind of thing. It's just a shame I don't get to do more. But okay, now that I feel like I need to back that with a little bit of cardstock. So let me see, guys. I'm getting so low on my cardstock now that might work there. Uh 
hope um, I hope I get time to do some because I would love to make my uh, Christmas cards this year. Although having said that, I um, the one I really love working with is that Tim Holtz poems. Poinsettia die. That makes the most amazing vintage um, Christmas cards. And I didn't bring it, <laughs> but I will definitely be grabbing that when I go back. All right, so let me just get this backed onto that just so it'll stand out a little bit. I don't know, I just feel like I really want to make things pretty. That doesn't sound sounds like sounds like everything else I do I don't want to make pretty and that's that's not what I mean but you know what I mean sometimes you just think oh I just want to really just play around instead of feeling so rushed all the time it's been um, just crazy crazy this week. Okay, before I put that on there, let me just see. I'm going to get some. So, this is my stamps. And I'm going to just get my ink here. This is the Old Olive. I love that color. I use that quite a bit. I think I might. I think I put too much. I I recently um, added some ink to that uh, pad, and I think I put too much on it because it's um, kind of bubbling up. That can't be a good sign. There. Clean that in a minute. Okay, just wanted a little bit of color on that, and then I'm going to cut, let's see, I told you guys I, I don't have anything planned, so just bear with me. Don't want to spend too much time on this one part because we've got a lot to do. Put that about there. A little bit big. Oh well. Let's see, I've got uh, here's the one I wanted. about that. That's a black. But I'm not mad on that color. I think I may have to get me a new black ink. That's, that's kind of a strange black. There, that's, that's cute. Look at that. I like that, so I'm going to put that right about there.
I wish I could have um, music on for you guys when uh, when I'm doing this kind of a video because I always feel funny just <coughs> walking away and doing my thing. It seems rude and yet you cannot have music or YouTube. Oh boy. It'll get you over that now. That's cute. Oh look. Look at that. I love that little little round stamp. Oh. Alright, so I'm gonna put that there. I get excited over the little the little details. They those are the things I get really excited about. Okay, what am I doing now? Now, now, now. I feel like this still needs to be just some little something up here. But I want to get this on. But this is where I think a bit of the fibers. Let's see what she's got for us this month. See if we want to put just a little. No, I think that's a bit too much. Okay, what can we do here? All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is just take that edge. Just try to get that to stand out a little bit more against that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me go ahead and get that on. I'll save those. Because I still don't even know where 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 this is all going, guys. This is just we're just gonna play until we find what we want to have on here. So like I said, this is just the tag part of it. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay, now I'm pretty sure. The next direction. Let me see if I've got the color I'm looking for here. Nice scraps that are left over from stamping up. I'm getting so Few. I'm trying to find that olive green, a bit of it left there. I think that's, that's as close as I'm going to get, I believe, so. Alright. Okay, scissors. Guys, I'm getting there. Sorry, this has taken a little bit longer than I thought. This may end up being a 
a two hour video. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so what I've done is I've made a couple, just a little banner. But what I'm going to do now, I want to just stamp onto this with that black ink. This is the little, uh, where's my, this is the little barn. You'll see it as soon as I get it stamped. That's, I've got the little circle one again. Let me just see how much of this I'm going to have to cut off. So I want it to be... It's not going to be too, too much. Okay, let me run this through the machine. I'm going to stitch this real quick. Okay, guys, you can just so you can see the stitching there. And now I just want to put a little, just another little stamp there on the edge. And then I got to thinking, I got this. Line. There we go, nice long piece. I just think I want something, just a little bit of something. Yeah, the tricky part getting this tied because. Sometimes I feel like I'm just all thumbs. You know, something has just occurred to me, and I don't know, it's kind of, it'd be kind of interesting to see what you guys think. Would any of you be interested in kind of like a, a handmade card swap? And the reason I'm saying that is because, i, I got to be honest, I've done um, swaps, organized swaps in the past. On Facebook and it's not went well for me um, and I won't elaborate on that so I really just I just don't have that much time and it postage is such a problem for me here most people in the US don't even want to swap because it's um, expensive but I thought a card would be nice because um, postage on that I already know my the the you know because my cards usually end up being really thick. I can still ship those for you know about five dollars, and that I can afford to do. But um, journals are too it's just too expensive for me. But I don't know. I'm just curious to see what you guys think. If anybody would be interested in that. Now, I don't know, this may be going completely out there, but I was just wondering. 
about making that the tag and then that I know it's totally off from the colors here but I kind of wanted I always like to have a little tab to pull the journal cord out but is that just too mm, I don't know I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna do it in fact I'm gonna staple it let me see if, if Paul's been in here and taken my stapler nope he's, he didn't yeah I'm gonna staple that just just for kicks Because that's kind of cool. It just gives it another little bit. Okay, so I actually I, I think it's it's okay, isn't it? It's okay. It's just a journal card, right? All right. So I'm just going to take a look because there's a bit of space. I want the dimensional tape because I don't want that to be all weird when I go press it down. So just going to put a little bit there. So, anyways, yeah, you guys just leave in the comments box um, what your thoughts are because um, like I said I've been kind of stung in the past on these organized swaps within Facebook and I'm not doing any more so um, this would just be more of a no pressure you know just kind of like a random act of kindness but obviously I don't want to be sending stuff to people who don't want it and aren't going to appreciate it if you know what I'm saying because some people don't some people don't care you know about that kind of thing and that's fine but I don't want to waste my time <laughs> and send it to somebody who's not going to enjoy it well I'm actually very happy with that so there's our journal card <laughs> two hours later there's our journal card <laughs> but I think that the little ticket I think it's kind of you know, it's just a little bit quirky, but it's like, oh, you know, county fair time, and so it kind of goes along with, that's my thinking on that. Now, I feel like this actually could benefit from, I've got lots of these that coordinate, so let's just play around here. I mean... I'm trying to think. I'm, I don't think I've got a whole lot of colors and inks left. Let me just see if I've got... I'll pull that out and I think we'll just play around. Hmm. I seem to be missing it. There it is. Miss one of my blocks. I don't know, I was just thinking if I put some. isn't ideal but I'm gonna have to do what I can do um, okay I'm gonna put this block down because I want to make sure that that's good and flat this is uh, wild honey I don't have any just ink you know water-based ink so gosh I really hope this isn't gonna be a mistake oh Okay, that's, that's looking pretty doggone good. So let's go with the green, green, green. Here's my green. Just 
you know, something, and then I'm, I think I'll distress a bit around that edge. Sorry, guys, let me make sure I'm not over the time. I'm getting concerned about the length of this, but it is what it is, isn't it? Okay. And so we've set farm fresh. Let me see what else I got in here. Oh, I like that. That's cute. I don't think I've ever used that saying. It says um, let me just ink it first and then you guys can read it. It says, if at first you don't succeed, saddle up again. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I like that. Very sweet. Okay, I feel like uh, this is just like uh, taking forever. Okay, now let's have a look at it because, oh well, let's distress it. Let's do that. Let's distress first. And then I've got a mess on these stamps to get cleaned up before we carry on. Uh, ink, ink, ink. that white envelope down a bit. Much better. Let's do the same on, on this. Actually, this one's okay. Okay, well that's good. Alright, so let's see what it looks like now, and then I will do a tidy up and try to get something kind of planned, because I know that this is taking far too long, and you guys are probably fed up. Sometimes it just uh, it just takes a bit longer, doesn't it? Oh, come on, come on, come on now! Oh, that is cute. All right, let me get it out of that glare for you to see, because I know that's reflecting on that. So there we go. Oh, I'm really happy with all that. Very, very homegrown. Oh Lord, is it going to close? Just boy, I hit that. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. Make sure you put that ticket in far enough because that just does close there. Yeah, happy with that. So we will start to now do something here. So I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys. So we need to do something here um, because I'm going to keep that for journaling and this sheet for journaling. So I thought this. I'm actually thinking that would be very sweet on the background because I love those. And I was reading, these are some nice little recipes. So let's just, I'm going to cut that. I'm not going to worry about being too perfect. I just want to get that down on the back. Trim that. Okay, let me get um, some glue.
like that page. So that's so, so retro. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so now I think I want to, I don't want to cover it up too much. So let me think. I want to make, I think I'm going to try to make a little pocket. I love the, this little image as a pocket here. And then I can have a couple of tags. So let me see. Let me just kind of measure that. About three and a half. By two and a half. Let's try that. Sorry about that. I thought I could put all of that away. This is really pretty paper. Let's see if that will work. I don't want to cover up too much. Let me just trim that down slightly. Yeah, I'm happy with that because I, I want to be able to see. Oh, that's a cute tag. She gets some awesome envelopes and tags. I've never seen this. Love that. Oh, I'd love to get my hands on some of those when I go home. Okay, let's see what we're going to put. These are cute. That might be kind of cute there. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I bet you right on that with those. Um, I used to have one of Stampin' Up! It's like a chalk ink pen. Oh, isn't that cute? I like that. Okay, let's do something with this tag because I really like that tag. I think that's going to be cute there. And then you've got all that for journaling on the back, which is really nice, and I love that. So that's going to have to stay there. Those are adorable. I wonder where she got those from. <laughs> this is a, it's times like this that I'm like, oh man, I so want to be going through the Michaels, Hobby Lobby. To be honest, before I came back here, Michael's, I'd really just gotten, <laughs> I got to where I wouldn't even go there. They just didn't have anything, but Hobby Lobby got to be my favorite, and wouldn't you know, it was the furthest from my house. Um, but she's got these little hearts, aren't those sweet, so I'm going to... Just add a couple of those. So yeah, no doubt, Hobby Lobby was the furthest, but even that was just across town. Um, but yeah, I got to where Michael's, I just didn't even, I didn't find anything in that store. But I would do my little run out, and I would do um, Hobby Lobby, Tuesday morning, Joanne's was right beside Tuesday morning, because uh, to be honest, I've never gotten a whole lot from Tuesday morning either. It's uh, It was aimed more towards planner people than junk journaling, so I never, but Joanne's, oh, I love Joanne's too. I'm going to put that side on. So, um, and then after that, I'd swing into Michael's. 
But those look like those would have been Michaels or Hobby Lobby, maybe. But yeah, oh, miss my little routine. I don't go anywhere here. Everything I gotta get, I get off of Amazon or because the the craft store here. There's one called the Range, and it's pretty good, but they're very limited. But the prices are reasonable. Um, but. Oh, there's another one here. Let me go ahead and put that. I think that'd be sweet down there. Um, but the hobby store here is so expensive. <laughs> so I don't even bother to go to it. But I do miss just having a little browse. But I will say the thrift stores here, um, you can, I get much better items from the thrift stores here than I was getting back there. So it all... It all kind of evens, it's a, you know, evens out because um, I do come across a lot more at the thrift stores here, which is amazing. Okay, let me get some thought now, guys. Let's see. I want to do a little bit more, so. Okay, so I decided to make a tag out of the wallpaper because I think it needs a little bit of pattern behind there. And so I am going to also add this to this tag. I thought that was a little bit short. <laughs> oh, see if I can get a little though. No, it's just not going to happen. Okay, in that case, we'll just slip it off. That's fine. Because that <coughs> can have some journaling behind that as well. Yeah, I like that. I think that's really, really cute. Maybe you can just tuck that in. Okay, guys. So there you have it. And then you can see you have all this to journal. Each of these have got space behind them, and then the back of the um, the journal card, you've got all of this writing space. So it's coming along, I think, for me, this is where my journaling journey is beginning, is creating the space for the writing. <coughs> and then, you know, as I come back in, I think for me... I think the best place for me to start, rather than trying to put thoughts down or even daily activities, <laughs> because let's be honest, nobody's going to want, I'm not going to want to read about work, 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 work. 
and at the moment that's that's really all I would have to write about. So I think what I'm inclined to do is um, little quotes that I've seen, and let me share one with you guys. Let me find my little notebook. I thought this was just a really, and this was on Instagram, so I do not, I should have wrote down who had shared it, and I do apologize, but listen to this. It says, and the sun took a step back, the leaves lulled themselves to sleep, and autumn was awakened. And it's by uh, Raquel Franco. I just thought that was really nice. Um, a little quote about autumn. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. And I don't know if I shared. I, yeah, I did tell you guys. I'm going to try to start doing this um, calligraphy or, you know, the handwriting penmanship. I'm not sure. Is there a difference in calligraphy and then the fancy penmanship? I don't know. You can tell me if there is, because that I'm unclear about. But anyways, I'm going to start practicing with that, and I just thought, you know, but this is where sometimes you just, too much thought goes into it all, because you think, well, oh, I want to write this quote down, but I don't want to do it until my handwriting's beautiful. <laughs> and so it just goes on and on and on, and we never get anything done, do we? So I think I've got to stop waiting for it to be the perfect time and just do it. That's what I'm thinking. So um, so the journaling for me, I think it's going to start with this sort of thing. And I'm hoping the more I do that, maybe that's going to prompt me to um, get more creative in my writing <clears throat> because it is something I've really struggled with. Um, I had started a journal a year ago, and I'll be honest, it was at a really kind of a dark point in my life, and now I'm regretting having used, because it was a beautiful journal, and I almost don't even want to go back into the journal, because I feel like it's rehashing negative thoughts, so it'd be interesting to hear what your take is on that, um, because it, we all go through those points in life, and so what do you do during that? Do you just pretend that it's not happening and don't journal about it. But on the other hand, I'm trying to really stay positive and um, focused on good things. And so I don't want to go back to that. So it's just something I'm really interested to see what everybody's thoughts are on that if you're into you know journaling. Because it is something I've struggled with and I've thought, well, how, you know, because I... I don't want to go back to negative times, and but maybe I shouldn't even be journaling about them in the first place. So there you go. Maybe that's the solution. But anyways, guys, I'm sorry. This has just been all over the place, and I'm so sorry for that because um, I'm trying to, you know, I try to get organized, but these process videos, sometimes they can be a bit challenging when I come on here and I don't know what I'm doing. But this is, you know, how it is how it is in the studio. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that today and check out um, Lynette's channel. I will put a link to that below as well as a link to her shop. So you guys have a great rest of the week and I will be back soon. Take care. Bye.